Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on my channel. I'm Rezvik and today I'm coming back with a new and updated video for the Eclipse panel. It's been around 20 days since the last video was posted when also the panel got released. I did their fast showcase explaining everything that has to do with the panel, the features, everything quickly explained. So if you want to watch that video, you can go right now in the description, I linked it right there. Also if you want to download, don't forget to join the discord server, link in the description too. And that being said, let's go in the video. Alright, as usual, here we have the panel login where if you are a new user of the panel, you will want to sign up. I'm gonna log in because I already have an account and password. I will click remember me too and log in. On the dashboard, as before, we can see some information about us, total injections and so on. We can also see registered users, which is almost to a thousand. And I want to thank you guys for that. Here we have the feature status. We can see the injector is working along with the unlocker, the rank changer and the blood points. It's patched and yes, we're gonna add a spoofer, which is in maintenance. That means it's in work. On unlocker we have something new too and from the beginning we can see there in the right corner install SSL bypass. Basically if you want to use the unlocker or the cookie grabber and so on and you don't have the SSL bypass on Steam because this is required only on Steam you will get that error and you will not be able to do it. So if you are on Steam just give it a click and boom it's installed successfully. Going forward to options here we have the unlocking only DLCs. If we have this off, we will get basically everything from skins to DLCs and charms. But if we activate it, we will get only the DLCs as the tool says. Then we have free blood web. What this does, if you go to the blood web, the blood points will go on minus. But if you refresh the page, you will keep the items and the blood points. Like it will come back, it will reset to you. Then we have save file. It's only until you reset your game. So if you want to have, I don't know, a thousand items and next time you start the game, you want to go back to normal, you can use this if you don't want to have a permanent save injected account. Then we have level and devotion spoofer. This is only visual. It won't affect your account like you actually have that level. But if you want to give a better look on the account, let's say you are a streamer and you want to seem legit, you can put here and level you want. I'm gonna put 69, devotion 420. And next time you will go in game, you will have devotion 420 and level 69. To its right, we have the currency spoofer, which is also visual. Again, visual equals not usable. This is only on your screen. You can't spend it or use it, but you can put yourself how many blood points you want. You can give yourself how many shards you want and also how many cells you want. Then we can see here crosshair. We added this feature and this can be used outside of Dead by Daylight as well. We added this more for the Huntress for example. It's safe to use so you can go ahead. All you have to do is press start and it's on your screen and you can select multiple. We have here five but we are thinking to add more in the future. And if you want it gone you can just press stop. Here we have the ticket system where if you have a problem you can tell us and we will obviously answer to you. Here you can put the title and make sure it's specific to your problem and then give it a good description and make sure it's well detailed and then you just click create and then your ticket is going to be sent to us. If we click on tickets we can see our current ticket being opened and waiting for an answer from us. That was pretty much all with the panel and what's new. Stay tuned for the next update. Thank you for a thousand members registered. I just wanted to thank you from me and the staff, Shayuko, Berke. We all appreciate that you like it and you support us. Don't forget to click that like button along with the subscribe one and clicking that bell. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. I was Rezvik and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.